Welcome back everybody to Crypto Tonight, the world's most craziest and underrated crypto news program. My name is Dako, here to bring you my unprofessional and irrelevant opinion this evening. Tonight, we're going to be looking into a project that I am personally super excited about, and that is of course, Vulture Capital. What exactly is it? What is it all about? Well, you are about to find out. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Vultures always eat. The question is, are you ready to become part of the mighty Vulture Capital. That is the greeting that you are welcomed with on the home page. But instead of going through that, we're actually gonna be digging into the white paper. The link to the official website is down beneath this video. So feel free to check it out and in your own time at your own pace. So Vulture Capital with a quite amazingly well presented white paper. Check that out. Have you, it's not very often that you come across white papers that present themselves in such a fashion. And I must say, I am, quite impressed not being biased i'm quite impressed the question is are you so moving down <clears throat> the vulture capital group is a community-based dao project with a focus on use case nfts otherwise known as non-fungible tokens of course by the erc721 standard the group aims to provide a simplified access to complex facets of the DeFi space of today the group will provide a tokenized member card or vulture, which will work as an all-in-one solution for the participation in the protocol and group. Now the business concept, bringing fun to NFTs. This is probably the most important thing to me personally. I want NFTs to be fun. There are so many NFT projects out there that it's like, all right, I bought it. Now what do I do with it? I looked at it once, put it somewhere, forgot about it for a year and I still don't know what to do with it. So it's refreshing to hear of a project that is bringing out NFTs with the intention of it being bringing fun funds to NFTs. Using major parts of funds from the initial sales, the group will create a protocol holding these funds in AVAX. The protocol will then split the funds in three different sub protocols, all with separate financing goals. To minimize potential risks, each of these pools will operate independently and in separate market segments and with different return targets. Using this strategy, the pools will use functions such as high, medium and low yield liquidity farms, stablecoin stakings, launch pads and other common DeFi mechanisms. Potential returns afterwards get split up between distribution to holders and growing mechanisms implemented. And here we have an example of some of the artwork that you can expect to see from the great Vulture Capital. So the theme of the art collection is based on a variety of vultures created by artist Rick Barros and will be limited to a total of only 3,000 NFTs. Just 3,000, that's it. You know that correctly? So they're not exactly going to be high supply, so to speak. Now, with the farming protocol, in a first phase based on initial risk and reward parameters set, the protocol will use a preset time interval of six days to evaluate the actions taken and will change the strategy according to new market and opportunity situation. For this, partners and Oracle functions will be used in tandem to secure the best possible targets for the new interval. All rewards collected by the protocol then get exchanged onto the native currency AVAX to be distributed according to the reward collector distribution network, thereby feeding the pools, holders, and security funds alike. Now, Cadaver Bone, Dow, yes. After successful completion of phases one to three, which we will get into a little bit later, the control of the protocol will be handed to the newly formed Dow and governed by democratic vote of Bone holders. The Cadaver DAO will be set up in Switzerland under current, under current law and will be functioning as head organ of the executing body located at the same location. Holders of the governance coin Bone are in control of the parameters on which the protocol will execute its actions and can, can, can control distribution of potential returns accordingly. All changes to the protocol will need to be approved of the, the Cadaver DAO from this phase onwards. <clears throat> Tokenomics, I'm sure you're all waiting and salivating over what, what to expect with the tokenomics. So total supply, only 100,000 bone. Now that is maximum. There will only ever be 100,000 bone tokens ever. Ever, 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 ever. Pretty cool, right? 
So initial supply, the Vulture airdrop 20,000 bone, pre-sale will be 11,000 bone. Pre-sale price to be announced, locked liquidity 10,000 bone, Vulture farming distribution 20,000 bone, liquidity incentives 25,000 bone, team 8,000 bone, treasury 2,000 bone, advisors 2,800 bone, and marketing 700 bone, lottery events 500 bone. So there's gonna be, a, there's gonna be two public sales, all right? One for the NFT collection and the other for the bone collection. So the bone is the coin, the token, the DAO. Only 11,000 tokens will be sold at the public sale. That's it. Pretty crazy stuff. Pretty crazy stuff. We'll talk a bit more about that a little bit later. So moving along, bone staking fees and taxes. So yes, there will be some staking fees and taxes. Uh, I'm not gonna get too much into this. I'll let you guys check this out at your own perusal, but just quickly, five, uh, stake on, this, on the staking withdrawals, there's gonna be 5% staking tax for withdrawals within 24 hours, 3% for withdrawals within seven days, and 1% staking tax for withdrawals within 30 days. As for the re rewards claimed by Bone, 5% staking tax for withdrawals within 24 hours, 3% staking tax for withdrawals within seven days, and 1% staking tax for withdrawals within 30 days. NFT tokenomics, total supply 3,000. At the sale, there will only be 600. Main sale, 2,200, and marketing and lottery will be 200. Prices for the pre-sale will be 0.75 AVAX, and the main sale will be one AVAX per NFT. Now, as for the smart contract and the protocol, the protocol consists of a network of smart contracts and oracles connected to partnered and vested liquidity farms on the Avalanche blockchain. The protocol runs requests to the Oracle services to enforce the given parameters in the given time intervals according to the orders coming from the roadmap and later the DAO itself, therefore guaranteeing a decentralized management and control of the funds involved. Now, staking pool, pool rewards. These portals are where the rewards generated by the protocol are distributed to its supporters and NFT holders. To access these pools, the holders will need to stake their NFT together with their bone holdings to receive the timed rewards. So basically you're bringing your NFTs and your tokens together and staking them. In a nutshell, making your NFTs actually work for you. Pretty cool stuff. And not only that, but the actual NFT itself, when paired up with the DAO token, the NFT actually works as an amplifier to any potential rewards you may receive. Pretty cool stuff. This tax is reduced by the time Bone and the corresponding NFTs are staked in the portal and serves as an incentive for long-time stakers and supporters of the project. Every Bone holder will have access to a baseline and varying APY generated by the protocol. This APY can be boosted by staking the Vulture NFTs. As we just mentioned a moment ago, stakers of NFTs will also have access to special NFT rewards and lotteries during this time. Boosting your rewards. The Vulture NFTs released in a set of 2,500 individually generated NFTs, which should be really 3,000, serve a distinctive function to the platform boost function. Stake together with the bone in the DAP that will boost the received APY. Supporters get more functioning as an incentive for bone holders to stake their NFTs in this function. Rewards long-term supporters of the project, giving the user the option to upgrade the rewards in a simple and gamified manner Instead of moving around funds themselves, holders can simply collect the Vulture NFTs to bolster the rewards and enjoy long-term passive income generated by these NFTs. Next to incentivizing and rewarding long-term holders, the boost function also serves as a deterrent for malicious acting parties, reducing the APY received significantly compared to NFT bound stakers. These parties have less incentive and possibilities to act in bad faith and drain the accumulator rewards with high buy-ins of bone. This function also secures a, a more even distribution of rewards within the community, not allowing single parties with big asset pools to take over the project or reward pools. The NFT set is split into five rarity levels, four base levels plus partner level, each of them granting a different boost level for the staked bone. By staking the NFT, the user will be able to virtually increase his bone stake used as base for the reward calculation. With this function, the users are able to stake multiple NFTs in the same stake and increase the received holdings accordingly. And we have a little graph there as well, you can check out as well. 
The Vulture NFT's rarity system. So the complete collection is filtered by rarity system defined in four main categories, each granting a specific boost corresponding with the level. These four base levels are common, uncommon, rare, and mythic, and grant the following boost levels each. As you can see there, common, uncommon, rare, and mythic, 2%, 3%, 5%, 10%, boost. The DAP. Home to all functions provided to the end user and community members, the Vulture DAP is focused on simplicity. While a simple connection to Web3 will be available, the goal is to mute out all the noise associated with DeFi and provide the user in, in, instead with all the nece necessary information in one simple click. Functions will include the possibility to stake the acquired Vulture NFTs together with the bone held by the connected wallet. Other functions will allow the user to withdraw and or claim the accumulated assets staked. With the release and implementation of the Cadaver DAO, the DAP will also allow for easy access to voting proposals as well as an update part forecasting the new implemented changes accordingly. Now we did mention earlier about like phase one, phase two, phase three, and I said we're gonna to touch on that a little bit later. Well, here we are now. So with phase one and the start of the project growth <clears throat> of the base fund is the main focus. Next to the security and liquidity pots, these will receive the biggest share of generated, re uh, generated rewards and revenue. All rewards collected in the upcoming staking pool during this phase get accumulated till launch to secure a high reward launch for early adopters and NFT holders. Progress of this accumulation will be published regularly. Launch sale, launch protocol, launch marketing campaign and launch lottery version one. Phase two, starting with phase two, the NFT staking pool for protocol rewards will be open. Until this phase, accumulator rewards will be distributed in a boosted phase for early stakers. After this initial boost phase, the reward distribution will shift towards supplying these pools with the necessary assets and slowly away from refinancing the core pool. So we've got launch staking pools, bone pre-sale, pre-launch, pre-launch staking rewards, distribution, lottery, and partner announcements. With phase three, the protocol is now in full function during the distribution of the governance token bone in this phase. The focus will shift further towards funding the reward pool for stakers to secure a long lasting reward stream for supporters of the network. So this is a long term project. It's not a pump and dump. It's not a get rich overnight in one day in half an hour thing. This is actually designed to be a long-term thing. So financing towards the liquidity pool of Boeing will also take a less important role to ensure an independent development and healthy liquidity of the Genesis LP. Phase four and five, in the final phases, the control of the protocol will now be given to the governing DAO and, the, and be subject to changes according to its proposals. The originally set up configuration intends to set the main focus continuously on the reward pool for stakers while securing a healthy operating budget for the project. So we've got execute DAO voting and proposals, takeover execute powers protocol by the DAO, lottery, DAO performance review, further steps and investment pool diversification protocol. <clears throat> the GameFi space. So the final fixed target for investments will provide the GameFi space being intrinsically linked to the NFT space, this is part of the market as well as has shown substantial growth and growth potential. This investment segment will be targeted with two separate integration goals, partnering with upcoming GameFi projects to incorporate the Vulture NFTs to provide another use case next to direct investments will be the main tools used by the protocol here. Projects to be vested by it will also be part of the proposal plan offered to bone holders in later stages. Strategies. The initial strategies are, well, with, with this, this is done to secure a fast recovery module in case of significant losses due to unforeseen market swings or malicious actions of other market participate, participants or clients. With this system in place, the protocol will secure a steady growth towards the target capital while having sufficient backup capital to cover any accru accruing losses in the process. The initial three main pools will be split based on basic risk assessments of low, medium, and high, targeting different return margins of 50%, 100%, and 200% plus APY, respectively. Partnerships. So seeing partnerships with the Avalanche Network as an essential part of the successful implementation of the protocol, securing these will be the main focus of the team during phases zero to three. 
Securing a wide network of reliable partner projects can help establish a solid community and ongoing interest in the project. With the ongoing integration of such partnerships throughout the phases, the protocol will secure a stable and long-lasting position within the Avalanche ecosystem as a whole. With this main focus set here, the team will follow three main strategies of acquiring these partnerships. Enabling both parties to regularly cross-promote the progress of their projects is a cost-effective and engaging asset commonly used in the space, providing partners with an active community as well as up-to-date standardized delivery of updates will be the folk main focus for this strategy and having both partners profit from ongoing engagement with the product needs to be the main focus. And here we have Meet the Team. I'm sure some of you might notice some familiar faces in here if you've been watching this channel for long enough. And partnerships. Vulture Capital, by the way, I have to admit, yes, I am part of this team. So, biased or not, yes, I am part of this team. And partnerships. Uh, we've already got quite a few partnerships and we haven't even really publicly launched yet. And by the way, these are actual real partnerships. Real partnerships. It's not like we're going to get listed on CoinGecko, for example. And because we got listed on CoinGecko, we're going to put... CoinGecko logo in the partnership section when there's really no partnership, they just listed us just for example. All these partnerships have had meetings and agreements and they're actual real partnerships, real ones. They could be either cross-promotional partnerships, some of them can be integration partnerships and anything else that pops up in the future we will be announcing we actually do have more partnerships or potential partnerships coming that they're still pending they're in talks at the moment but it's pretty good start so far and here we have some social so you, yes you can check out vulture.farm website we've got the official twitter page the official telegram community is now up telegram announcement channel will be coming soon instagram is coming very soon discord is just around the corner and there's a contact email address as well and finally from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for watching yeah yeah and going back to the team quickly and partnerships you can see satoshi sean a friend of mine and rice tvx another friend of mine please show your support and follow them on youtube here you see satoshi sean's channel lovely guy awesome guy awesome content and he does some really interesting very out there shows and of course rice tvx one of the big crypto bad boys out there really interesting guy controversial at times and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel crypto tonight the world's most craziest and underrated crypto news program yeah yeah so there you have it vulture capital once again the website link is down beneath this video feel free to scroll through the website at your own pace at your own perusal and see what you think let us know what you thought in the live chat box or in the comments down beneath this video and one more thing we did go through the white paper not the website in detail we did go through the white paper but if you want further information if you click on docs you'll see the white paper and Git book come up. The Git book has twice as much information than what the white paper shows you. Like, so if you wanna know more, please check out the Git book. And if you have any questions or concerns, just leave us a Twitter on the Vulture Capital official Twitter page or join us on the official Vulture Capital Telegram community group. The links are on the website. Yeah, yeah. And that pretty much wraps everything up for tonight so yeah really excited with this project some awesome awesome partnerships and again these have all required meetings in person for these partnerships to make happen and there's more coming as well a lot of interest coming towards Z vultures so the question remains will you be a bull a bear or a vulture time will tell Again, in all, serious though, all seriousness, there will be two public sales, one for the NFTs and one for the DAO token for the bone. A date hasn't been confirmed for that yet. Probably won't be confirmed for at least a couple of weeks, maybe a few weeks, but please join the Vulture Capital socials for all the information, all the announcements, all the updates. And of course, myself, Satoshi Sean and Chris from Rice TVX will also be keeping you informed with news and announcements on Vulture Capital as well. So yeah, once again, just feel free to check out the official website 
and go through it at your own pace. And any questions, our socials are there to help. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that just about wraps up crypto tonight. Tonight, please subscribe, like, share, and retweet this episode. Smash that notification bell so you stay up to date with all future relevant and irrelevant, professional and unprofessional, scheduled and unscheduled, such as this one, live streams. We come to you live Sunday to Thursdays, 10 p.m. EST time, or at least we try to. It's not all the time, but we try to. We aim to. And until next time, fellow vultures, please be safe, be healthy, trade wise. Hang on, thirsty. <sighs> you know, drinking out of the mug tastes so good. It's sweet. <sighs> Until next time, be safe, be healthy, trade wise, and as always, rock on now!